All right, guys, before we do the big reveal, Magrika Monataya from Komodo Dragon to Bearcat. At number 10, Komodo Dragon. Nine, Electric Eel. Eight, Sea Cucumber. Seven, Flying Fox. Six, Seahorse. Five, Koala Bear. Four, Whale Shark. Three, Killer Whale. And two, Bear Cat. And at number one, ang nanguna, ang pinaka misleading animal name is... Guinea Pig. Guinea pigs are actually not pigs, they're rodents. And the guinea in its name may seem to pertain to its origin, but it's not in West Africa or Papua New Guinea. They don't even belong to New Guinea or Papua New Guinea. Galing sila sa South America. Ang closest relative nito na malaki ay yung capybara. Yun yung mga malalaking lumulusong sa tubig sa South America. Yun yung mga kinakain ng mga anaconda. Yung guinea, I don't know where they got it, but the pig, I think they got it when yung sa squeaking sound. It's similar to that of a pig. Ang guinea pig, kapareho ng baboy ito ay mamal. Kapareho ng baboy, it can actually be domesticated. And in some areas, because of this domestication, actually kinakain din siya. So may pet nito, it's used as food source also, as pet also, kaya kapareho ng pig. What are some of the similarities and differences with the pig? Magkaiba talaga sila kasi ang pigs, lalo na yung mga wild, yung mga hindi pa domesticated, meron sa kanila nag-grow ng tusk. Ang guinea pigs walang ganun. Tapos yung isa sa trait na dinevelop sa baboy is hairless. Ang guinea pigs, meron niya nagrabe yung kapal ng balahibo niyan or mahaba. Pamilya yung mga gerbils, ganyan. May similarity sila yung sound nila. Pagka ang baboy eh, naiinis, di ba, they make that very high-pitched squeal. Ganun. Ang guinea pig din, pagka na-excite sila, they also make that sound, the squeaking sound. But if you look at their feet, hoof ang paa ng baboy. Pero ang guinea pig, parang paa ng daga. Tapos ang ngipin ng baboy, matatalim at may canine sila. Pero pag tinignan mo ang ngipin ng guinea pig, parang daga. Now the name guinea pig may be misleading, but it has stayed the same for many years. So, should the name stay or should it go? I would call them a fluffy rat. Fluffy rat because marami ngayon na variety ng guinea pig that has a very long hair. Kaya siya maraming gusto mag-alaga because nga ang cute. If I would be able to rename it, I will rename it as a fluffy rat. Okay na yung guinea pig. <laughs> Kasi guinea can actually indicate either it's small, or miniature or little. Siguro yung unang nakakita na description nga niya ay mukha siyang maliit na baboy, kaya siya tinawag na guinea pig. If I would rename the guinea pigs, I'll call them the squeaky rodents. <laughs> squeaky rodents kasi nga napakaingay nila eh. Pag siyang guinea pig, isipin mo baboy talaga eh. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our top 10 ang pinaka misleading animal names. Thank you so much for watching. This has been your host, Revilson Fernandez. Many thanks, of course, to our guest panelistas. You gotta add us up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We might even have our MySpace account. Who knows? Let us know what you think, though. Next week, get your pens and notepads handy as we continue listing down the top 10 of anything and everything that's odd in the animal kingdom, because that's what we do here. Dito lang sa paboritong listan ng bayan ang nag-iisang ang pinaka. 